Hello. So today I'm going to talk to you about Mishima, um, which is a way of um, inlaying uh, slip or underglaze into your clay. So here is an example of a Mishima plate I've made before. Um, it's very smooth and lovely, which is one of the nice things about doing Mishima is that you can get a really nice fine line and that when you run your hand over it, it's very smooth um, after the glaze has gone on because you're inlaying that clay into the top, into the actual plate as opposed to scraping away like you do with Scraffito. So you don't get the same texture, you get a much smoother finish. So here is a Mishima plate I've made before. Today, you will need a plate you have already made, a leather hard and let it go leather hard, um, a scratching tool, paintbrush for brushing away your bits. You can use a pencil instead of your scratching tool. Sponge, sponges are essential. Wax resist, this is also essential for this particular way. You can do Mishima by scraping away, but I'm doing what I think is the much easier way of using wax resist and of course, some slip. Okay, hope you enjoy it. So yesterday, made this lovely plate with a nice mermaid on it. Um, I've let it get leather hard, and now I'm gonna paint it with wax. So I've got a tub of Potter's Wax Resist, and I'm gonna get my brush well and truly covered in it, and then I'm literally just gonna paint it on. Um, spread it out well because you know it it's just covering the surface it doesn't have to be done neatly or anything like that okay okay so now it's all waxy and uh, soaked in. You still see a few puddles of wax, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to get my Scraffito tool, or you could just use a pencil, um, and I'm going to start scratching. So I've got my mermaid at the bottom, so at the top, I want to do the C. I'm going to start scratching with my tool and as you can see I'm just taking away a wax and a bit of the clay and I'm going to get my brush in a minute and sweep away those little extra bits. I'm not going to try and do it with my hand because they will just roll across the clay and cause a stripe. I don't want that. So, little brush, you can just flick them off. But if you watch how I do it with my hand, if I do it with my hand, it's not as good. Sometimes it's easier to flick it. Same as with Sofito, it's better. <laughs> To do this as you go along than to leave it to the end. So you don't want <laughs> those little bits going in where you've scratched. So I've got my C and now I'm going to keep carving. Okay, so you can see I've done all the scratching in, so uh, lots of sea creatures, as it's me. I'm thinking of calling this plate Mermaid's Dream, because she looks kind of asleep. So now, I'm going to take a sponge, which is just blown off the table, and I'm going to get slip on my sponge. Now I know it looks purple at the moment, but it won't be. It will be uh, blue. And I'm, I'm going to sponge the colour in to the plate. 
and get it in all of it. Get it in all those cracks. scratched some detail on her face so I need to go over her face and uh, her boobs. I can see in some places it's going in easier than others and I'm having to go back over different bits but that's, that's quite normal. The wax will stop the colour sticking where there's wax and where I've scraped it off it should go in to all the areas So due to unforeseen circumstances, i.e. my friend came round and we decided to go for a swim in the sea because it's my birthday, we are now doing this far too much after we should have been. So I have a bowl of water and a sponge and we're going to just start with the wet sponge just wiping away our layer of slip that we put on. Ah, there you go and you can see it all coming off. Now, this would have been much, much easier to do three hours ago. But hey, on your birthday, you need to go for a swim in the sea. So as you can see, the slip's wiping off really easy over the top of the wax. And you just keep wiping. You're not scrubbing hard. You're just gently wiping because you want the clay colour slip that you've put on to stay in the cracks and I'm hoping you can see that it is staying in the cracks. The cracks, that's not the right word is it? The uh, the carving. So I'm going to keep going at this for a minute. So, this is my finished Mishima plate. Well, it's not finished because it's not been fired yet. But um, it's dried out nicely. Um, and uh, you can see the lines quite well now, which is good. Um, so when it's been bis fired you can see it's lovely and smooth. You just don't get that with Scraffito. It's lovely and smooth, even at this point. So, um, I'm now going to bis fire it and then put a transparent glaze over, I think. Or I may get a bit excited and get out my stoneware wax crayons, which I've still not tried yet, which I really want to. Also, for an interesting point of interest, these were both made, same clay and the same mould. And you can see how much they shrink by. So once it's been final fired, it's an awful lot smaller. Okay, have a lovely day.